What it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. Today we back with another lit video, back in the confessional, and yes, we keeping it lit, big dog, man. Shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day. Shout out to my homie Lucky Wheels and Diz who keeps it lit. Shout out to the Wolf Packet Cool Kids, the Thirty Two Gang, so cool, fam. Big Nike PRP, the PRP gang, and the whole Charlene Nation. Okay. Shout out to behind the scenes Lexi who be in the bushes. <laughs> be careful in the bushes. That's where we know that boy Van be. <laughs> and he ain't got no job. Oh, first let's congratulate Lexi on uh, getting her license. Shout out to the haters. <laughs> Shout out to the haters. Congratulations, Lexi. And <laughs> that's all the congratulatory we're going to give for this video. <laughs> because we got to address the mess okay charlene nation has been holding charlene accountable again yes you heard it charlene is coming to explain the drama between her sons and then we also have some other stuff that we want to discuss yes your girl said it's been a year this is i cannot believe it's been a year for her to be single you mean single as a dollar you mean as one when she split up with her man that means she divided and she ain't been with nobody since in a relationship okay let's get into it i'm not finna hold you it's nice and cool now but um yeah guys we just been chilling today light day didn't do much it was just a cool relaxed normal day i don't have nothing spectacular going on in my life right now You don't have nothing going on? I mean, Jesus Christ, you know? I, I guess she means nothing by like, she's not going to the club. <laughs> but you know, if you was pushing those bonnets, you would have something to do, okay? If you was on your business hustle, you would have something to do. It wouldn't be just a normal day where you sit around, eat Cheetos, and blow out your hair, okay? Come on, man. I, I told y'all the, the boss said it's not in her. It's, it's, it's either in you or it's not. You know what I'm saying? I know stuff get rough. You got the kids all the time. Um, you got to take care of your uh, brother and make sure he don't... <laughs> and make sure he wears his helmet every time he on his bike. <laughs> like, Van, are your tricycles tightened? <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, get something to do. You know what I'm saying? Boss up. Get that bonnet. Uh, be online. Drop shipping them bonnets everywhere, you know? Now, as of right now, besides, you know, the little stuff that was going on yesterday for the first day of school. And I just want to talk about that a little bit, you know, like, I don't understand why people were so... As if you didn't talk about it enough, but let's continue. ...so mad for somebody's decision of how they feel on things and, you know, like... You know, I don't think a lot of people were mad at a uh, nation's decision to not be friends with Kamari. I think people were more upset with how you handled the situation and bringing it to Kamari and bringing it to the internet and how you want to handle it. And that, that was the thing. I don't I don't think anybody has a problem with Nation's choice of friends. That's her own prerogative. But I th I, most part I heard was, you know, hey, as an as a mother, you should have that talk. And you explain that you have talks with your kids. But it's more like it's more like passive talking. It's not really uh, constructive uh, criticism um, and helping them grow as adults and understanding things, what to what to leave in the past and what to move on from and what to hold on to and stuff like that. Th th that's what we want to hear. You know what I'm saying? That's what we would expect to hear. Maybe you had that conversation off the camera, but we only judge it from what we see on the camera. You know what I'm saying? So that's why people have criticisms. Like I said, Nation has her own way of thinking. Nation has her own thoughts. Nation can clearly see what goes on. I mean, my kids are not little anymore. They're, they're practically teens, let's just say that. So Practically teens? I mean, 
<laughs> they are teens. You want to say practically grown? We know. You know, because you let them be grown. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> the wolf in sheep clothing. <laughs> when she got that hair blowout, that's the wolf. <laughs> Take off the sheep clothing. So it's just like, um, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I was just like, you know, when I see people trying to say stuff about Oh, I should have been a better parent about the situation. What do y'all want me to do? What do y'all want me to do? Sugarcoat it? What y'all want me to do? Be a kiss ass? What do y'all really want? I'm sorry I'm not none of those things. No, nah, I don't think anybody wants you to kiss CJ's behind because why would you need to feel the need to kiss your daughter's behind? I think the, the thing most, like I already explained, most people wanted you to, you know, they wanted to see that talk that with Nation. Like, why bring the drama and not confront the drama and the problem with some good wholesome content. Instead, you just you brought out the drama and you left it there on the table. When you leave the drama on the table, you leave it open for people to um, comment on. I'm just trying to do what I've been doing from the beginning and that's move forward. Oh yeah, speaking of that, like I don't even know if you guys realize, but my year is is coming upon being single for almost a, well for being single for um a year so i don't think she understood what she was even talking about you are being you're single for a year what happened to rico what is that like you practically destroyed this man's family <laughs> just just to get on here and tell us that you've been single for a year you've been man listen I can understand if y'all don't put a title on. We know you don't like titles. You don't like marriage. You don't like commitment. You don't like none of that. Okay, I understand that. You don't like Jesus, all that. But to say that you are single, you just broke that man's heart. Because now, Rico, shout out to Rico. Rico don't have a family no more. Rico's baby mama is ready to air him out. In fact, Danny Banks aired him out, and, and we just waiting on, see, Iceland, she missed the opportunity, because now Desi, uh, Desi Banks, or Desi Banks, Danny Banks, she's getting all the shine for airing out her, uh, her baby daddy, or airing out uh, Damon Arnett, the ex-NFL player, that, you see how many headlines that made, you know what I'm saying, and now, you over here, you ruined his family you ruined his family because because you want to be single and play around and you didn't mess you didn't mess around and now now she's another single mother and now he's not being a father to his other children and we know what type of woman you are you the type would be like no nah, you don't have to go see them kids fact or fiction give myself a you know a pat on the back you know I stuck to my word. I stuck to my inner, my inner self, and I did that. You know, I did that. I did that for my kids, and that's mainly who it was for. So, so watch next week. She's gonna be like, "We're officially in a relationship." <laughs> if she gets in a relationship next week, all this was BS. Like she, she was just she was in a relationship the whole time. Just she didn't want to put a title on it. That don't mean you single. If you if you out there um, raw dog and another man, and, uh, and all the time, and that's the only person you raw dogging with, that's some type of relationship. So you ain't just single. Like sing, bringing another man into your kid's life is not being single. Okay, you don't be single and bring. A, I, I I don't even know why I have to be the one to tell you this. Like women do this all the time. They tell men all the time, don't be bringing random women around your, my kids. Uncle Rico, I mean, he even said y'all, man, never mind. Let's, let's keep on. Just crazy how time flies. I just can't believe it's already about to be a year. And like, like I said, guys, I'm gonna keep saying this. It's only the beginning. Things are gonna get better. Things are gonna get Y'all just go see, like, I just can't really explain. Oh, did y'all hear the Puerto Rican in her voice? Y'all missed that. I, I heard she was Hawaiian and Mexican or something. 
So she, she, I heard the Mexican come out. Watch this when she say better. Said guys, I'm gonna keep saying this. It's only the beginning. Things are gonna get better. Things are gonna. <laughs> Did she roll? <laughs> That's. I, I told y'all she was Hawaiian and Mexican. That Mexican came out better. Better. I think I, I don't, I don't think y'all heard that. I'm gonna play it one more time. Be a year, and like, like I said, guys, I'm gonna keep saying this. It's only the beginning. Things are gonna get better. Things are gonna get. <laughs> Y'all just go see. Like I just can't really explain too much because uh, uh, you never want to let the right hand yeah, know what the left hand is doing. I wish I was. I bet you that scene right there because she cut it. I bet you it took her about three or four times to say because she was probably saying, "I bet you you can't let the left hand know what the right foot is doing, or it's a win-win loss, or." <laughs> <laughs> they need to get their credentials together. <laughs> Stop throwing rocks in my pool. Sorry, I'm sorry. You sorry? Okay, we'll throw the rocks over there. What the? You threw a rock at me when I was swimming. Whoa, Lord. they are candy. The kids is out here acting Pretty wild. Candy. I mean, at the end of the day, nation people are gonna have their opinions whether or not. Nation really wants to explain why. See, uh, that's what I was trying to trying to say to um, say parent to parents out there. You know, take the time out of your day, even if you have a busy day. Just um, have talks with your kids, communicate with them, and ask about how they're feeling. And you know, as much as I don't show you guys off on stuff on camera, I do do a lot of communicating with my kids. We talk, we have you know family talks. I ask how their day is, I ask how they're feeling, I ask um, is anything wrong? You know, just. Just a little, a little note you guys can. Check that's just a little note that you guys can do there. So just always check up on your kids and check up on your family and stuff like that. Make sure everything's good. So um, I really don't want Nation to explain anything, but Nation says she wants to explain why she doesn't, and I just feel like it's no need to Nation. As a person with, as a person within yourself, if you know the reasons, and why you don't want to, you know. But I'm tired of people calling you a bad person. Okay, that has nothing to do with anything. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't care what nobody really thinks because at the end of the day, we know what the re what the reason is, right? Yeah. So what? it doesn't even matter. If people out there clearly watch our videos, people see the things that they see, then hey, it's it's common sense. All you gotta do is put two and two together and hey, y'all can't be mad at that person if y'all don't know the reason. I mean, I guess people really don't remember, like I said, I don't know if people have amnesia or they don't remember things, but I have good memory and I remember a lot of things, especially if things are being said bad about me. I, I do remember those things, but at the end of the day, I don't let it, I don't let it get to me. Stop. Okay, go inside now. No. Yep, because you're throwing rocks in my pool. No. That's a damn lie. She let it all get to her. Every time CJ say something, it gets to her. And she tired of it. I know, I know she tired of it. I would be too. You don't throw rocks in the pool. So like I'm telling Nation, it doesn't, it doesn't even matter what people think at the end of the day. We know the reasons. And so at the end of the day, who's Nation? We don't even know. We don't even know who Nation is. Who's Nation? Who's Nation? So. Mm, the tacky shade. So, you know, I, I, we, we, we spoke about this briefly on a review that with Desh. Y'all go check out the channel. Uh, when they said that, like, CJ was being kind of petty when he said that. Uh, he could have left that part out. But it was in the moment. And uh, when Daya was like, these are nations, talking about the shoes. And she was like, who's nation? You know, I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was petty, but y'all y'all blowing it out of proportion. And to take it out on Kamari is freaking insane. Kamari wasn't there, and she didn't even say it. So, you know, to take that out on uh, Nation is kind of, I mean, on Kamari saying, you know, whatever. That's kind of insane. But, you know, that little shot right there continues to be between everybody. Okay? That's just what it is. You know? It's not gonna end. It's not gonna. I don't. <clears throat> I, I don't expect this beef to end. So the kids just won't. They just don't have to be friends. Um, in middle school, depending on how long she goes there, there's a chance they will have a class together, and it it's just gonna be what it's gonna be. You know what I mean? So 
it is what it is. Everyday people, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace. <laughs>